Good evening everybody, this is CP. I want to talk about a chlorine generator or sodium, what is it, hypochlorite? Yeah, sodium hypochlorite or hyperchlorate, I guess, I don't know, either way. Supposedly this can make a chlorine, di or they call it disinfectant. Um, I got some translations here on the box um, with my phone, so I'll, I'll post those right next to it. It's in front of it. It says five minutes it makes it says it makes almost a pure solution, 99 point something. Uh, whatever it says there, 99.99. Yeah, right. So, well, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. So, right now I'm using the chicken coop because this is going to be like off-grid. Uh, for hiking, I'll, I'll keep one of these, the little battery pack, USB charger. And uh, I'm going to order another one, so I got two. But I'm going to order another one and put it in my uh, storm kit so I can generate it. Now, right now, I'll be using the chicken coop to power it okay so it will be off grid this is all chicken coop powered <laughs> there's no uh, you know there's no connection to the house or anything but what we need is <clears throat> 100 milliliters of water is what they said which I guess we'll have to push that down in there but I'm gonna do it according to the direction so instead of making a full cup it's about half a cup a full cup is 200 and something milliliters what did you say in here? yeah it's 250 milliliters so we need about 100 milliliters that's what we got. That's the instruction said. We're going to put one tablespoon of, or one teaspoon of salt. I have a Morton salt here. Now, I want to check it, not by smell, but this is a, the test strips I have. They're kind of old, but they're what I have. And I, I don't remember why I have them. <laughs> so, I'll go ahead and take some out. And I want to do this later in the day because... Well, totally not because I'm lazy, but I didn't want the sunlight to affect my chlorine. But if I take the test strip and put it in there, we can get a base of what we had before, which the chlorine is, uh, and the free chlorine. I'll just go like this here. You can see there's almost no chlorine in there. House water. Okay, the first two are chlorine and free chlorine, I think. Total chlorine and, yeah, free chlorine. So, basically, it's, it's pretty good water. A little hard, though. This is tap water, not reverse osmosis water. So, we'll set there as our base. I'm sure it'll continue changing colors, but we need one tablespoon, or one a teaspoon. Um, the directions were, were uh, uh, not all people friendly. Yeah, so, that's what it says. It doesn't come with a power supply, but whatever. So, comes it over there. Let me just go ahead and put one teaspoon or whatever this is. I think it's a teaspoon. I suspect, you know, this is going to make a 2% uh, solution. And I suspect you probably put more in there and get a stronger solution as well as a longer time. And that's not all dissolving, but whatever. Probably good enough. Well, maybe it's not. And they say they'll let it run for five minutes, so I'm just going to let it run. And you guys can watch. <clears throat> Pull it out. Uh, the cord's probably... I don't know, let me see here. Hold on. About three feet, maybe. Maybe two and a half. So let me go ahead and try not to knock the camera over. And uh, we're going to push this in there, I guess. These are just holes. Um, that's not a USB port. It's just the way it is. Uh, put that in there. Push it down. Come on, man. There we go. Let me just plug this in out here. And watch the whole thing. Probably just short out my chicken coop. Oops. Let me zoom in for you. I see very little activity, but there is some bubbling. There we go. Let me loosen up this tripod. Sorry. Ah, sorry. Fairly sorry. 
There we go. So I am seeing some activity there. A little bit, you can see it. So let's let this run for five minutes and I'll speed it up. Okay, so let me go ahead and unplug that. We're testing. I suspect if we had more air in there, it would be good. Or more uh, water. Um, maybe I didn't have enough water into it. But I do smell the chlorine, so let me uh, go ahead and put that in and dunk it. Oh, yeah, I can tell right now. Looks like a lot of other stuff. Um, yeah, I can't pick that up. There's our control versus that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so I see a lot of chlorine in there. Let's get the bottle and read that. Try to do this here. So, total chlorine, about the max, whatever that says, 10. I have to look at the chart on how to read it. Um, and then that one there, free chlorine. There's a lot of chlorine in there. And I, oh, if I smell the strip, it's a lot stronger, so it's very corrosive now. So now we have chlorine. Let's clean that out and rinse that under water, but I can smell this. Oh, geez. Smells like regular bleach. Maybe a little bit salty, if, if that's the thing. I suspect if I run it longer, it would get stronger, but right now, uh, that should bleach stuff. I don't know if we can bleach a leaf or not. No, didn't do any bleaching there, but <clears throat> that is uh, that's bleach. So I'm gonna call that good because it shows it on the test strip versus the other test strip here, and I can smell it physically. The two steps, two different test strips. So, yeah. Yeah, no effect. Alright, so, this is NCP. I, um, I'll put a link to where you can buy these at. They're fairly cheap. <clears throat> and the, the whole deal with this is, I, I've had pull shock, but it tends to rust everything around it as it outgasses. And this, I can make it on demand. I can store salt indefinitely. So, <clears throat> I can make disinfectant or, or sodium hypochlorite or hypochlorite or bleach. We'll call it bleach. Sodium hypochlorite generator. So I'm pleased. I would probably do more uh, if I was doing it. But if you're on limited water supply and, and as for measuring we can do some math. I don't think these strips give me good enough information on how much is in there. Unless that's parts per hundred or whatever, I, I can't tell. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really read it. I just want to see if I had any. Um, so, yeah. Up to, looks like up to five parts per million or something. Anyway, I'll know that I have chlorine. I'll just mix it back and forth until there's no smell. So, if I put this in water, I know it has salt in here. Iodized salt, I think. This is non iodized. Okay, this is non iodized salt. I don't know if regular salt makes a difference. I, I suspect it won't. Um, <clears throat> well, I can smell chlorine. Um, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm going to get some more. Like I'll put one in my hiking backpack, one in my bug home bag, one in my, well, hurricane preps. I was going to say earthquake, earthquake preps, but we don't have those out here anymore. So I'll put that in there, and then I, I can always have safe water or at least biologically safe now if there's pesticides in there or whatever well that's that's a whole other fun game that you can deal with and clean out um if i had shaken and gotten all the bubbles out of that first and had a much freer flow or deeper water i think it might have even been stronger but as it was it maxed out my scale there so that's it um I'll put links below. I also took some pictures of my phone earlier 
that translated the stuff here in uh, Chinese, I guess. And it says different stuff than what it says in the front. It says, uh, like, you can control the concentration somewhere it said in there. Um, but I don't think that's 99.9% .9 pure. But you can control the uh, concentration. Uh, I think it said it here. But I'll put the, I'll put the other pictures that I translate my phone on there with Google Translate. But other than that, hey, I'm pleased with this. I'm going to call it success. I'm going to add this to emergency prep. Because uh, water is really, really important. And clean water is important. Not just for me, but for the animals. Or chickens and dogs. But there you go. Alright, this is NCP. Everybody have a good one.